around the country, around the country and around. They the world. wanted to assist or they wanted, they wanted to, to assist, assist in in They wanted to assist or retaining businesses or retaining um, businesses. It applies to world world. Um, it applies worldwide to PCPs, otherwise known as publicly traded companies, and their officers, their directors, their employees, their stockholders, and their agents. Now, one thing about the agents, agents is kind of broad, but what they have in their chapter is agents are the third party agents or consultants or distributors or joint venture partners and etc. That's what would underline agents. Um, the Department of Justice and the SEC are jointly responsible for enforcing the FCPA. Sanctions for, the vi for violating the FCPA can be significant and it can result in civil enforcement actions for violating the anti-bribery or the accounting prov provisions. Now with, with, with the FCPA there are certain guidelines you have to follow in terms of accounting and obviously you can't bribe anybody. But the companies, when they're found guilty, they have to give up the bribes, the things that they got when they bribe them. They have to also give up the resources that they obtained. And they have to pay a prejudgment interest and substantial civil penalties. Now these penalties could be a lot, ranging on the um, severity of it, or ranging from, and it depends on country to country, but universally they have a standard of how much they're going to charge them. Um, and jail time as well. Companies may also be subject to oversight by independent consultant. I mean, they're going to bring somebody in to watch them. And if they keep on, just the fines get heavier and heavier and result in jail time eventually. And so that is what is the Foreign Corrupt Practice Act, otherwise known as the FCPA. I'm Terrence Robinson, and this is International Market 4820.